My name is Barbara. I'm a landscape designer from St. Petersburg, Russia. I'm going to show you my process of creating preliminary sketches for a landscape design project with Morpholo Tray. Let's begin! First of all, I draw the border of the plot and set the appropriate scale. Just input some known size, I use metric system. And voila! 10 meters on the ground are 10 meters on your plan, so simple and so useful. I use the scale and cardinal direction stencils. I created my own ones. I draw a 10 meters long line with the ruler and fit the scale bar stencil to it. Fill the stencil with the black color. Then raise the line. Move the bar in the right place. Then choose the cardinal direction stencil. Rotate it according to the north on your plan. Save the angle and put it on the bottom of your base plan too. Your base plan is ready. Draw the building's layout. Use the super ruler. Just leave it on the edge of the workspace and draw 90 degree lines. Choose the thicker lines for buildings and thinner ones for terraces and stairs. Name the layer as base. Create the second layer with the existing trees, which are going to stay on the plot. Don't forget to name the layer. Use the Morpholio trace stencils or make your own ones as I did. Adjust the size of the stencil according to the size of mature tree. When you create new layer, it covers only the visible space of your screen, so if you need the full size of the plan, Click on the layer with the size you need and create the new one. Choose the layer transparency and name all the layers you've created. If you turn on the time-lapse recording, which you will find by pressing the spanner button, you can enjoy your full drawing process later. It's fascinating to see how the project evolves, and finally everything is on its place and connected perfectly. Make your clean copy layer more opaque and start to draw. Use super ruler, freehand drawing and stencils.
I want to show you the super ruler work again. I call it magic ruler. When you put the ruler on the edge of a workspace, it helps you to draw perfectly straight lines. Isn't it awesome? It can save you a lot of time. You can draw parallel and perpendicular lines according to ruler angle. When your clean copy is ready, I name it Liner 1. The next layer is color 1. So it's time to make your plan more yummy. Another great tool of Morfolio Trace is, uh, look at this, it's roller brush. I try the color of margins first, then enjoy the process. Try to draw without jumping and twitching, roller brush doesn't like it. I change the color by changing the transparency of the brush, so I get more colors. You can fill the whole area first and then erase the spots which have to stay uncolored. If I have a several identical objects, I color one of them Copy the colored area and apply it to all of them. I use watercolor brush for coloring the details of objects. I like the soft effect of this brush. The surfaces under the big trees should be colored too. I color the flower beds with soft touch of watercolor brush. Color the one tree or bush.
and then copy this area with the selection tool, the arrow button, then clone it. You can change the size of the color spot for trees of different sizes. And then clone, and clone, and clone. And clone again. If I want my plant to be more colorful, I add the second color to the flower beds. Return to the big trees. If I want to color my big trees, I can light them a little bit with a rubber first and then add the color. When you light the space under the big trees, your plan gets more depth and it gets easier for your clients to imagine the space. I create new layer for shadows and shades. I draw the shadows cast first. By using the roller brush the shadows will look cleaner. Don't forget the shadows of the flower beds too. I don't draw the shadows of objects under the big trees, because they are already in the tree shadow. But I draw the shades of all the objects on my plan with a watercolor brush. Don't forget to make shades lighter than shadows. So, my preliminary sketch is ready. I love using Morfolio trays for my work. It saves me a lot of time. And it allows me to be as creative as I can. Thank you for watching. I hope this tutorial will help you in your own design projects. You can find me on Instagram under the name Varvarada underscore Land Design.